Are you stuck with the frustrating error message? Value dollar sign is not a member of string context. If you're using Maven with Scala and facing this issue, you're definitely not alone. Let's dive into how we can resolve this together. I totally get it. It can be incredibly annoying when you think everything is set up correctly and then an error pops up out of nowhere. This is a common issue for many Scala developers, especially when working with Maven. Let's take a closer look at the specific situation. One user reached out saying they encountered the error while trying to run their Scala project. They mentioned that they had already tried modifying their pom.xml file, but nothing seemed to work. Sound familiar? Let's figure this out together. So what does this error mean? The message indicates that the Scala compiler is unable to recognize the dollar sign in your code, which is often related to missing dependencies or incorrect configurations in your project setup. Don't worry, we will break it down step by step. And stay tuned. At the end of this video, I will share a crucial tip that can help you avoid similar issues in the future. To resolve the error, the user should first ensure that the Scala plugin is correctly configured in the Maven project. This involves checking the pom.xml file for the Scala Maven plugin. Next, the user should verify that the Scala version specified in the pom.xml matches the version used in the project. This is crucial for compatibility. The user should also ensure that all necessary dependencies are included in the pom.xml. This includes Spark dependencies and any other libraries required for the project. Finally, the user should clean and rebuild the project to ensure that all changes are applied. This can be done using Maven commands in the terminal. Fun fact, did you know that Scala was created to address some of the shortcomings of Java? It's a powerful language, but sometimes it can be a bit tricky to configure correctly. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user found a solution by using the DataFrames call method. Instead of using the dollar sign syntax, they access the column directly with df.call column-name. This approach worked for them in Spark version 1.6. Here's the tip I promise. Always keep your dependencies updated and regularly check your pom.xml for any discrepancies. This habit can save you a lot of headaches down the road. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to resolve the value dollar sign is not a member of string context error. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more troubleshooting tips. Remember, you're not alone in this coding journey.